Welcome to Verbal Big Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I'd like to welcome you all to the show. <coughs> Pardon me. Something very important, very important. We got to speak on because I'm hearing rumors that Kyrie Irving is getting ready to retire from the Brooklyn Nets. Sad. Uh, I'm hearing... That celebrities are coming out in support of Kyrie Irving. Now, the reason being is because truth. I mean, you all got to realize, as I stated before, but it was against the law, right, for a black man or a woman to read or write. That mean a lot of knowledge was hidden, got displaced. A lot of knowledge went unknown to uh, millions of the segment of the population that we all live together. We all congregate together. We see each other. On a daily basis, politics are shared, social events are shared, but yet you had a a whole race of people being denied the access to knowledge, and now that knowledge is everywhere. It's available, internet. Twitter, Amazon, Roku, you name it. Now, think about this. Do you know, it's like, put it like this. It's like a man in a desert that's going 24 hours without water. And when someone shows up with a water bottle, do you know how thankful, how grateful that man will be just to get a sip? To give its body the necessary fluid that it needs? So what do you think when black people start researching and start finding out who did what first when the propagandist and the racist put out otherwise, put out lies first. And now the truth is slowly catching up with the lies and everybody's in the uproar. You know, they say, well, we're not, we're nothing like the slave masters of old. And you say, well, why are you still trying to punish people for putting out truth, right? Now, it may, we're not worried about the, the way the truth is put out, meaning uh, someone might say, uh, uh, damn it, if you turn the light switch on and there's electricity in the house, then the, the lights shall come on. Damn it. And they say, well, why did you have to put the damn it first? Why you just couldn't say, hey, turn the light switch on, there's lights? Because, damn it, that's the way I see it. Well, we're going to ban you. We're going to take away all your property and all your rights because we don't like the way you delivered that truth. Or, or now you tainted the whole truth, so we got to throw it away. Come on, that's ridiculous. You're dealing with adults, right? We only want to get down to the meat in that documentary of Hebrew to Negro. Let's pull out all the truths and just debate that. Now, you're trying to tell a grown man that he can't tweet a link to a movie that has truth that will quench the thirst of so many starving black people in regards to knowledge. 
And then you you don't you say that you you seriously when Trump said everything under the sun and still became president. It's ridiculous. So let me play to you all something which I'm proud Mayweather done it right. Simply for the fact that, you know, when when you get celebrities on the caliber of Mayweather status who understands that the truth is more important than just being silent because we got a whole generation that's coming who needs to stand on truth in order to be productive in this society because you have to be motivated and you have to have a sense of pride. You have to be energetic and especially in dealing with something uh, such as race and your particular race. So y'all check, check what Mayweather just tweeted in regards to the Kyrie Irving situation. We had a chance to hang out in 2016. Bag it up a little bit for you guys. Okay, here we go. Kyrie, what's up? I know you're going through a lot. We had a chance to hang out in 2016 when you represented America, when you represented the red, white, and blue. You only want to be treated fair. Um, I was going to post something on one of my social media pages. But I decided to do it the old school way and read it out to you because you're a great person, great father, a uh, great athlete. And you believe what you believe. America is the land of the free, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and supposedly freedom to choose. Never be controlled by money. I respect you for having some integrity and being your own man. A free mind makes his own choices and a slave mind follows the crowd. Stand for something or fall for anything. One man can lead a revolution to stand up and fight for what's right. One choice, one word, one action can change the world. It's crazy how people hate you for being a leader. I hope your actions encourage many others to stand up and say enough is enough. Respect to you, Kyrie, and power to the people. Now, come on, come on. A free mind makes its own choices. A free mind makes its own choices. Meaning, I can tweet a link to a documentary that has information that I feel like is good for the people as far as far as a fact-finding uh, expedition for those who seek knowledge. Now, someone says, well, I don't like you since you have a, uh, since you're a celebrity and you have a big platform. I don't like for you to share that type of information with your people. And that's where the problem begins. It's like with what the hell are you saying? Who are you? Right? Who you you you're not my owner. You're not my master. You're not my God. You can't tell me what I can uh tweet or what link I can share. I'm not saying uh harm anyone or death to anyone. I'm sharing information. You mean to tell me I get all this backlash? And now Amazon is forced to put a disclaimer on Hebrew to Negroes, and they want them to take it down altogether. Instead of saying, "Look, let's do a let let let's sit down, let's do a town hall meeting with the producers of Hebrews to Negroes and the Jewish scholars, and they bring their facts and." And and the, the producers of Hebrews and Negroes bring their facts, and they sit and prove one somebody's wrong, and that's all the the public wants to uh, know, read, and hear. You know, so hey, hey, it's it's wild. Is all I'm saying. It, it it doesn't make any sense to a lot of people. Um. It should never have gotten this far. Uh, but the more 
you try to suppress a thing, the more you put pressure on that thing, and the more that thing has to come out, regardless of the container it's in. It has to come out. The container that's trying to suppress or hold back that pressure is not strong or great enough. Verbic Radio, we're out.